Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 7, Sem 2, Chapter 4, Construction of Triangles, Exercise 4.3. See now construction of a triangle with given two angles and included angle. See example 5, construct triangle PEN with measurements PE equal to 7 cm, angle PEN equal to 25 degrees, Angle EPN equal to 60 degrees. See now construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment with PE equal to 7 cm. See now step 2. Draw a ray PX such that angle EPX equal to 60 degrees. See now step 3. Draw another ray EY. Such that angle PEY equals to 25 degrees. See now step 4. Rays PX and EY intersect each other at N. Hence we get the required triangle PEN. See now example 6. Construct triangle MPC with measurements. MP equal to 4 cm, angle P equals to 45 degrees and angle C equal to 80 degrees. Now, we have to find out the third angle. We know that the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle M plus angle P plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. That implies angle M plus angle P equals to 45 degrees. So, plus 45 degrees plus angle C is 80 degrees. So, plus 80 degrees that equals to 180 degrees that implies angle M plus 45 plus 80 that is 125 degrees that equals to 180 degrees that implies angle M equals to 180 minus 125 degrees therefore angle M equals to 55 degrees see now construction steps step 1 draw a line segment with MP equals to 4 centimeter step 2 Draw a ray MX such that angle PMX equal to 55 degrees. See now step 3. Draw another ray PY such that angle MPY equals to 45 degrees. See now step 4, rays MX and PY intersect each other at C. Hence we get the required triangle MPC. Verification, by using the protractor we have to check whether angle C is equal to 80 degrees or not. See now check your progress. Construct Triangle ABC with measurements, angle A equals to 90 degrees, angle C equal to 50 degrees and AC equal to 8 cm. Now we have to find out the third angle. We know that the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. We know angle A is 90 degrees plus angle B plus angle C is 50 degrees. That equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle B plus 90 plus 50 that is 140 degrees. That equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle B equals to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. That is 40 degrees. Therefore angle B equals to 40 degrees. See now construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment with AC equal to 8 cm. See now step 2. Draw a ray AX such that angle CAX equal to 90 degrees. See now step 3. Draw another ray CY such that angle ACY equals to 50 degrees. See now step 4. Rays AX and CY intersect each other at B. Hence, we get the required triangle ABC. Verification. By using the protractor, we have to check whether angle B is equal to 
40 degrees or not. See now exercise 4.3 for sum. Construct triangle DEF with measurements angle D equals to 60 degrees, angle F equals to 50 degrees and DF equal to 4 centimeter. Now we have to find out the third angle. We know that the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle D plus angle E plus angle F equals to 180 degrees. We know angle D is 60 degrees plus angle E plus angle F equals to 50 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle E plus 60 plus 50 that is 110 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle E equals to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degrees. Therefore angle E is equal to 70 degrees. See now construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment with DF equal to 4 cm. Step 2. Draw a ray DX such that angle FDX equal to 60 degrees. See now step 3. Draw another ray FY such that angle DFY equals to 50 degrees. See now step 4. Rays DX and FY intersect each other at E. Hence we get the required triangle DEF. Verification. By using the protractor check whether angle E is equal to 70 degrees or not. See now second sum. Construct the triangle with the measurements x y equal to 7.2 cm, angle y equals to 30 degrees and angle z equal to 100 degrees. Now we have to find out the third angle. We know that the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle x plus angle y plus angle z equal to 180 degrees. That implies angle x plus angle y is 30 degrees plus angle z is 100 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle x plus 30 plus 100 that is 130 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. That implies x equal to 180 minus 130 that is 50 degrees. See now construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment with x y equal to 7.2 cm. See now step 2. Draw a ray x p such that angle y x p equal to 50 degrees. See now step 3. Draw another ray YQ such that angle XYQ equals to 30 degrees. See now step 4. Rays XP and YQ intersect each other at Z. Hence we get the required triangle XYZ. Verification by using the protractor check whether angle Z is equal to 100 degrees or not. See now third sum construct triangle PQR with the measurements. Angle P equals to angle Q equals to 60 degrees and PQ equals to 7 centimeter. Now we have to find out the third angle. We know that the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is 180 degrees. We know angle P plus angle Q that is 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus angle R that equals to 180 degrees. 60 plus 60 that is 120 degrees plus angle R that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle R equals to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degrees. Therefore angle R equals to 60 degrees. See now construction steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment with PQ equal to 7 cm. See now step 2. Draw a ray PX 
such that angle QPX equal to 60 degrees. See now step 3, draw another ray QY, such that angle PQY equals to 60 degrees. See now step 4. Rays PX and QY intersect each other at R. Hence we get the required triangle PQR. See verification. By using the protractor we had to check whether angle R is equal to 60 degrees or not. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.